Pat Kamek is supposed to be a constitutional conservative. Do you know that she only votes with the Constitution 89% of the time? Why doesn't she vote 100% of the time with the Constitution? All right, that's my first question. When she ran for Congress, she ran on the promise to install or to promote term limits. This is her third election, okay? When has she introduced a bill to bring about term limits? Why hasn't she done that? Why isn't she fighting for it? Why isn't she promoting it, okay? So she doesn't keep her word. She says she's a conservative, right? And she says she's a Christian. In the past, she voted for the, the Gay Marriage Act, or the Marriage Act, but it was really a Gay Marriage Act. And, and she supported McCarthy, Rhino McCarthy. All right, so listen, just because somebody says they're a conservative doesn't mean they really are a conservative. You have to watch what they do, not, not just what, hear what they say. Currently in our country right now, free speech is under attack, especially political free speech on the internet, okay? It's come out that these, these tech platforms, these internet tech platforms have been censoring conservatives, have been censoring patriots, and have been censoring political and religious speech on their platforms. And the government, our government, uh, pays for it through NGOs. If you if you'll go to Tucker Carlson and watch the recent interview with Mike Bentz, he exposes how our government is working against free speech around the world. Listen, you don't have a democracy, folks, if you don't have free speech. If you can't sit down and object and discuss ideas and give counter thoughts to ideas, just like when they censored us through the whole COVID pandemic, I call it. What, what have our congressmen done? What has Kat Kamek done to ensure our free speech is protected online? What have they done? Nothing, nothing. And these Congress critters, they enable this corruption in our government by constantly uh, refinancing and spending our hard earned tax money on all this malarkey, okay? So, so think about this. In 2023, the US government took in over $4 trillion in taxes. That same year, they spent 6.2 trillion. 2.2 trillion of that of that money had to be borrowed. All right, they they brought in four trillion in taxes, but they spent 2.2 trillion dollars over what they brought in. Me and you can't live like that. <laughs> and and these Congress critters enable the bureaucracy and these agencies and these lobbyists to spend our tax money in their favor. The lobbyists went to Washington DC and spent $9 billion and got like around $5 trillion back in corporate welfare, in domestic welfare. And then yes, that includes the, um, the spending for government, but the government that's working against our freedom. Why hasn't she done anything to stop the censorship, the political censorship of free speech on the internet. Right now, Payloff, uh, the guy that invented uh, Telegram, which is a free speech platform, is been arrested by the France government because he won't give them a back door into his program. That's what it all boils down to. And she's done nothing. She hasn't demanded that the French government explain why they arrest Payloff, because um, she's part of the she's part of the problem. Okay, these Congress people, if they're not 100% constitutionalists, they're not patriots. Okay, all right, and she she marks herself as a conservative and a Christian. This is the problem with the Republican Party. They keep 
nominating and electing the same politicians over and over again who do nothing, all right? And they, they need to stop it. We need, listen America, we need to flush the, the toilet every election until we get a patriot in office that's going to vote for the Constitution and freedom 100% of the time, all right? So, listen, don't, don't be fooled. She's nothing more than a wolf in sheep's clothing. In my opinion, uh, in my opinion, Kat Kamek is nothing but a do-nothing politician. Yeah, she'll, she'll, she'll kiss babies and she'll burp old people, sends her staff to go check on your complaints. She's not helping America. She's not making America stronger and she's not making America freer. Okay, actions speak louder than words. Listen, I have a handicapped daughter. I've been a foster parent. I was in law enforcement. I was a, uh, uh, in the army. I could do a hundred times better job, more of a patriotic job than what she's been doing, okay? She's for her own political party. She's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, she might be more conservative than your Democrat or your rhino, but she, the longer she stays there, the more corrupt she'll become. And she ran on the promise of not staying there, but having term limits. You're just having the wool pull over your eyes and you need to reform the Republican Party. I'm a registered independent. Um, this country is going to hell in the handbasket and these people just keep playing these games with us and they're not doing their job, folks. Don't be deceived. And I'm not here to get into all the politics of everything, but the point is we're broke as a nation, $35 trillion in debt and they're doing nothing to stop it because one trillion dollar, over one trillion dollars of that money went to pay interest to international bankers who created that money out of nothing. If the government can print a bond, they can print a dollar. What are these Congress critters doing to save our country? They just give it a slip service. Don't be fooled. Get rid of these people every election. Vote them out. Get somebody else in there. Even if it's independent, don't, don't be so loyal to your party that you destroy your country because you believe their lies. All right, it's Pastor Larry. I hope you'll listen because we don't have much time left. God bless.